Acrasia is whenever we work against our own best interests. Aristotle claimed we could combat acrasia through self-disciplined action toward our goals, repetition, and being honest with ourselves. Plato claimed we simply needed to avoid finding goodness in bad actions. You know you want to get in shape, and you're finally committed to it, buying an expensive gym membership and laying out a new plan for exactly how you're going to gain strength. Day one and two of your new protocol work well, but on day three, something strange happens. You skip your workout. Despite knowing how badly you want to be better, despite understanding all the benefits on the table and how proud and confident you'd feel if you actually achieve this goal, despite all the dedication and goodwill you began with, you skip your workout and watch YouTube videos instead. What happened? It's a strange part of the human condition when you really think about it. We have what feels like a will to do something, and yet there's something else seemingly acting against us. Some call it plain old temptation, i.e. going for the pleasurable thing in the moment, rather than staying the more difficult but more rewarding path. Others would call it laziness, procrastination, weakness, or self-sabotage. Some would suggest that behaving this way means you simply don't want your goals badly enough because if you did, you'd move mountains to achieve it. It turns out this problem existed long before the modern distraction of YouTube, however. Ancient philosophers tried to understand this phenomenon and asked themselves, why do people act against their own interests? And, seeing as we do, how can we take control and reach the goals that are so important to us? The term akrasia describes this phenomenon and is from the Greek word which means lack of command. Lack of command over what? Yourself. Plato asked the question in his dialogue Protagoras, wondering why a person who acknowledges that something is the best and most rational course of action would then still fail to do it. Aristotle believed that acrasia comes in different forms, and one type of acrasia occurs because of what he called passion, which causes the apparent lapse in good judgment and rationality. The idea that emotions could derail rationality and lead to foolish behavior was a common theme for the philosophers of the day. The other type of acrasia, according to Aristotle, was down to a weak will. Rationally and intellectually comprehending the results of your behavior is one thing, but deliberately choosing against your best interests speaks to a lack of self-discipline. So according to Aristotle, at least, the phenomenon of acrasia comes down to being either too passionate, a will overrun with emotion, or too weak a will that isn't strong enough. 